Let's head back to the voicemail of Truth and Reason. Hey, love the show. Just have a quick comment. You know, everybody's saying, oh, no, it's impossible to win six or seven games in a row for the NFL, blah, blah, blah. I just want to remind everybody, in 2021, the Dolphins won seven straight games. When they started, I think they started like two and seven or one and seven or something like that. They started pretty bad, but they did reel off seven straight wins under Brian Flores. So it's not impossible. Go Browns. Yeah, without question. G. Bush, um, and, and to be fair, the schedule for the last seven, or last six, rather, is not as tough as the previous six have been. Yeah, man. Like I said, man, anybody want to join that bandwagon? I got a nice tall glass of Kool-Aid to drink, right? You know, you can, <laughs> the six and no Kool-Aid drinkers are here in the building. I'm for. I'm all for it, man. I take a look at it this way. It has to bounce our way one way. Look at it. 99% chance that we beat the Jets. Guess what happens? <laughs> we didn't beat the Jets. There's always <laughs> we talk about the improbable things that that happen to the Cleveland Browns. So yeah, I mean, is it likely to happen that they go six and zero? No. Is it probable that they go six and zero? No. It's hard to win two games in a row in the league, and we still need to work on that with the Houston Texans. But if you ask me, um, is it out of the realm of possibility? No, it's not because my expectation level for what the Cleveland Browns are with Deshaun Watson is different. I feel everybody has to step their game up. I think Stefanski should be stepping his game up. And for the first time, I think we might be utilizing some of the talent that we have. I think for the first time having a quarterback that with that level of cachet, when they're doing game plans and they say, hey, what do you like on the first five plays? Sometimes, no disrespect to Jacoby Brissett, but sometimes Stefanski not asking him what he think. He called that play in on that, 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 that sheet and say, uh, zip right 22 sweet jet pass, and that's all you're going to get. There ain't no audible in. That's just what we call it. But guess what? Now you got a quarterback that maybe on that Monday, he says, what do you like on, on, on third and long? What do you like? Uh, oh, you know, plus 10 over the 50-yard line is third and six. What, what do you like here? And now we get an opportunity for them to say, well, listen, can, can we get a little something quick to Kareem Hunt? Maybe we're, we're running. The Browns don't even have things in their playbook. Have you ever seen the Browns execute a draw play? We don't even, we don't draw. It's not even in the, <laughs> it's just not there. It's, I ain't seen a deep post in years. I ain't, th that route don't exist. Go find it in the last 10 years. We There's certain things we got to unlock. You got to. You know, it's like a video game. You got to beat the boss and the character, and then you, when you unlock a board, you get a special weapon, and you get to use that the next game. That's the way the Cleveland Browns are. We got a whole area of the field that's opening up because, guess what? You got a guy like Deshaun Watson. Now, does that lead to six wins? Who knows? But I will say this. It does lead to a lot more viewers, and I think uh, watch. You you know, on, on Sports for CLE. What, what, Monday to get a win against the Texans. The numbers look pretty good. You you Those know numbers it. Numbers look pretty good. <laughs> I, I agree. 